up y'all welcome back to my channel if it's first time visiting my channel welcome to my channel my name is Toyo, and i'm here to do a reading for you guys so hit that like and subscribe button and let's get into this video all right uh this is actually a channel message and i channeled this maybe about 15 minutes ago here okay uh so i'm gonna read you guys what i picked up on when i was channeling uh so while i was channeling what i picked up on is that someone is trying to give you the silent treatment but this is like to manipulate you this is like a manipulation tactic here okay so somebody's giving you the silent treatment because something that you said or something that you did or something that you didn't say or something that you didn't do here okay but somebody's just like hmm and some of y'all y'all could be a little confused like what the fuck what did i do to you for you to be giving me the silent treatment or something of that nature here okay i am feeling like people are wondering like what you did to this person or what this person did to you here okay but there's a, like a lot going on and like i said this person is really just trying to manipulate you here okay um i feel like this person this person is making you feel like you're not enough like you really ain't shit because this is somebody that you have love for or that you actually love okay um this could have been past energy for some of y'all but this is somebody that you actually love or you actually have love for okay so for some of y'all this is like literally your parents your cousin your aunt your sibling or your baby mother or baby father a lot of instances on y'all share blood or you have the same blood here okay uh, so y'all either have a child together or you can't you come from the same bloodline in some sort of way here okay but i do feel like this is somebody you love maybe you just want to be close to this person or uh connect with this person um but they're just giving you the silent treatment for whatever reason here okay um, I also feel like this person might have called you a lot of names, possibly behind the scenes. Some of y'all just could have been to your face here, but I'm getting like a lot of disrespectful names, uh, certain things that they shouldn't have said about you or certain things that they shouldn't have said to you here. Okay. Um, and like I said, a lot of y'all just, this is literally your own blood here or somebody you share blood with. Y'all have a child together or y'all come from the same bloodline here. Okay. Um, but this person is mainly, um, upset because they feel exposed by you so some of y'all y'all might have made you may have made like a post some of y'all y'all might be on youtube telling your story some of y'all y'all might have just straight up told whatever this person did to y'all some of y'all y'all talking about trauma that happened within your family or within your bloodline it's like this person's trying to manipulate you get low-key gaslight you and give you the silent treatment all because they feel exposed by something that you said or and you might not have even been directing it toward them some of y'all you really did like straight up direct it toward them this motherfucker did this to me or damn like or you know but some of y'all this is like you're talking about some type of trauma that your family went through or some type of trauma that people like them put you through so some of y'all it's not even that they did anything to you specifically it's people like them like let's say you're like oh my god narcissists they all do this and this person does that and maybe they didn't necessarily do it to you but they feel exposed by you here okay so like i said you might have got called like a lot of disrespectful names maybe even behind the scenes here uh and it's because they feel exposed by you i'm hearing it's this bitch talking about me okay what the fuck is she talking about who the fuck is she talking about it's like that type of energy who the fuck is he talking about i guess you even if you weren't hell even if you were here okay but I, like i said they are they feeling ups, upset because they feel exposed by you um like i said you may have made a video you may have posted something you may have just shared a little post on Twitter, like, you might have just did something small and they felt exposed, okay? So, now they're giving you the silent treatment here, okay? Um, now, this person, they may try to pick at you whenever they come towards you here. So, whenever you see them, they may be giving you the silent treatment, but they may try to pick at you, okay? Some of y'all, they may have tried to pick at you at, at the past, in the past here, and this is the thing that you were talk, you were talking about. Like, they might have said some real disrespectful shit to you in the past, and, like, maybe you came out of nowhere and was like, oh, damn, I, motherfuckers used to call me ugly, and they used to call you ugly, and now they feel exposed. It's like that, okay? But I am getting, like I said, this person, they may have tried to pick with you, pick at you, or pick at, they may try to do this in the future, okay? Or some of y'all, they feel like you were trying to pick at them. Like, let's say you really did post something that they actually did to you. They feel like you were targeting them, whether you were there or you were not here, okay? So, you're going to have to take it how it resonates. But somebody feels picked with, or they feel like you're trying to pick with them, or you feel like they're trying to pick with you here, okay? Um, somebody feels like the other is being disrespectful, so they may feel like you're trying to be disrespectful. But I do see like a fight or a stupid argument between you and this person here, okay? Or a stupid argument or fight that has already happened between you and this person. Because this could definitely be past, present, or future 
energy, okay? So take it how it resonates. And I'm getting like, this person, this is somebody you actually fuck with them. You actually care about this person. This person just selfish as fuck, okay? So this person did something that was selfish as fuck fuck and maybe you talked about it or maybe they are just naturally selfish and you talked about selfish people or something that selfish people do um and like i said they feel exposed i do feel like this person only really does care about themselves uh they put themselves first no matter what here i also feel like for some of y'all they may have even crossed you out to make sure that they're good that they're ahead first here okay uh they don't really care like i would say they don't full full blown care but they're going to make sure that they're right before anybody, which ain't nothing wrong with that. But maybe this person did something selfish or selfish in your eyes. Um, like, let's say, for example, because now I keep hearing money, money. Like, let's say, let's say they always borrowed $100 from you. They always borrowed $100 from you. Um, and then they end up getting $1,000. And you're like, oh, let me borrow $100. And they're like, no, I got to... Um, pay this, 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 and this first. It's like, I don't know, something about this person kind of coming off selfish where it's like, damn, I would have did it for you, okay? But I am getting the fact that, like I said, you do fuck with this person. It's just they're selfish as fuck, okay? Beyond selfish. Um, I feel like some of y'all, you could have been feeling real sad. Some of y'all, your soul is in pain. I don't know if this person was just being really disrespectful to you, but some of y'all were feeling sad, like your soul was crying. I keep picking up on like somebody's soul crying here, okay? Because maybe this person, it's like this person did something that was selfish, where it made, it's like some of y'all, it literally made you start losing faith. Whether this is within yourself, within God, within the universe, whatever this person did, it did put you in like a, a sad place real quick here, okay? Where you started like to lose faith. I don't know if I believe in God no more. I don't know if I believe in myself no more. I don't know if I believe in what the universe can do for me anymore. So a lot of y'all, yeah, this person had your soul crying or maybe they had you crying here, okay? But I am getting, some of y'all could be feeling sad, especially if you care for this person and they are giving you the silent treatment. For those of you who you're like, I don't care about, this is not your reading here. Because some of y'all, y'all be saying that y'all don't, this ain't mine, blah, blah, blah. It's because it's not your energy. It's not your reading, boo. I'm sorry. Um, So, you know, take that how it resonates. But if this is not how you feel and somebody ain't got you in your feelings and you, you, you act like you can't tap into your emotions and somebody can't hurt your feelings, this is not your reading here, okay? It, um, You might want to flip it and you might be on the other end of the reading where you're kind of like the meaner energy. Which, you know, it's okay. I'm not trying to shame nobody, but, you know, sometimes I think people be looking at the reading and they be the opposite end of the reading. This is not for everybody. This is like 10% of the people. It be the bitter people. They be like, mm, and that's what the fuck he get. And this, like, it's like that. Like, make sure that you're on the right end of the reading, all right? Love y'all, but, you know. Uh, anyway. So, like I said, this person is actually in a really, really good position in life. This person is in a good position in general. So, they don't really have any reason to try to bring pain your way. They don't have any reason to try to make you feel sad, to try to make you feel left out. I don't know why this person is trying to make you feel that way. Like I said, this is somebody that got more money than you. Like, let's say you got like a rich cousin or a rich auntie. It's like that type of energy. And they're like, no, uh, I'm, I'm going to need all that back. And you're like, hold on, I was just about to move. Or I was just about to get this car. Oh, my God, I'm stressed out. It's like that type of energy. Like, they took something from you right when you needed that shit. It's like that type, type of energy here, okay? Um, and they're actually in a good position. They didn't have to steal from you. Some of y'all, they actually stole from you. They didn't have to take that from you, at least not so soon. Whatever this is, they didn't have to do that shit, Okay? I also put, yeah, it's like, like I said, they did it for no reason to cause you pain when all you're trying to do is get to your destination. It's like they see you getting so close to your destination and let's say you borrow $50 from them to get to your destination. As soon as they see you about to pay, whatever, they're like, oh, remember that $50 I need back from last week? Hold on, I was just about to get a car like i need them I don't, I don't have nowhere else to get this 50 dollars right now until my check roll in it's like that type of energy here okay um now what i did pick up on is that like i said they are in a good position in life this person is just a narcissist um 
I really feel like they don't care about nobody's pain. They don't care about nobody's struggle here. They just want to give you the silent treatment or they want you to feel this type of way because they feel exposed by you. Okay? Or you might have exposed something that they do here. Okay? Um, now, I do feel like you might have tried to save this person from a narcissist. Um, now, they might be a narcissist themselves. But this is like... Or you tried to help this person out. So some of y'all, this person is a narcissist theirself, but they're not like full-blown narcissistic. They have narcissistic traits, which causes them to be selfish, okay? But maybe this person's connected to an actual like full-blown narcissist, and it's like you tried to help this person or save this person or it's something, but I'm getting like they don't want to listen to you or they didn't want to listen to you because you shut them out too soon or it's, it's something about you shutting them out. So they feel some type of way about you shutting them out. It's something of that nature where like, they're, they got their panties in the wall is what I'm hearing about something else. It ain't even got nothing to do with you. Okay. I also put that you are actually really spiritually too strong for this person. Um, and I feel like you don't want to hurt them. I feel like you just try to allow people to be who they are. Like I said, you know, this person has narcissistic traits or you know that they are narcissists as well, but this is like blood or this is somebody you like, okay, I accept your little traits, but I'm going to get the fuck away from you. Or I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Okay. Like, you know how to move accordingly when it comes to this person. You got really good boundaries set up when it comes to this person here. Okay. But whatever this person did where they hurt your feelings or they got you sad or whatever they did, they know that you are spiritually too strong for them. Okay. And I feel like they don't want, um, I feel like either one, like, I don't know what your emotions do, but I'm here. Damn. I don't even want to say that. But some of y'all are spiritually too strong for people. So when you get into your emotions, it's too strong for people here. Like shit might start happening in their life. Okay. Um, and I feel like you're aware of your emotions as well. Like mm, every time motherfuckers do this to me, some shit start to happen. It's like that. Either these people are aware or you are full blown aware. Like, mm, you made me emotional and I, I, you better pray. It's like that type of energy or everybody else is like, ooh, they made them emotional and they better pray. Because remember last time these people made them emotional and all this shit went chaos and all this shit happened. And then the car broke down and then the motherfucker had a heart attack and then this happened. And it's too much shit that happens when people actually get you in your emotions when you ain't did shit to them. This is them trying to manipulate you and they backfire because when they get you in your emotions everybody gets fucked up or everything gets fucked up or they just fuck they self up by trying to hurt you like that i don't know why this person is trying you because i feel like this is somebody that is well aware don't make this motherfucker cry don't hurt this person hmm, i'm gonna give the bitch this silent treatment i don't care about her i don't care about him now your emotions are haywire and everybody's scared or you're trying not to get your emotions there because you're like i don't want I don't want my emotions to get there, okay? You actually are aware that your emotions are quite powerful, or these people are. And then I put it off to the side. I don't know who you had to show who you are, but it seems like somebody triggered you, and it literally, um, I don't know, some type of power came out of you, like some type of energy here, okay? Somebody upset you in the past. They triggered the fuck out of you. And like I said, shit start going haywire or something okay so this is what people are afraid of i do feel like people are low-key scared of your emotions bottom line people are afraid when you get into your emotions i feel like a lot of you guys you may have cried and i'm hearing like wailing cries i even put warrior cry so some of you guys are native american or you have native american blood but i'm just hearing like a pain like you're letting out a pain like ah, like you know that type of cry. Like, I feel that shit in my soul right now. Like, you're, ah! And then, when you let that scream or whatever the fuck that is out, when somebody gets you to that point, it's over with. Like, somebody might have got you to that point. Or somebody's trying to get you to that point. Or somebody's got you feeling like, ah! It, this shit, it, I don't know. They're, make, they're making you lose faith, okay? Or they, that's what they were doing in the past. But I do feel like they need to watch out. Or this is how everybody's feeling. Like, oh, nah. We need to watch the fuck out because somebody got them fucked up. And I don't got time for that shit, all right? So I did pick up on a few names. We got the name Zay, Josh, Elizabeth, Maddie, West, Markeisha, Marshall, Marcia, or 
Marissa, uh, Justin, M Carter, Paige, Roddy, Ariana, Carly, Doug, Riley, Chris, Nicole, Shamar, Shamir, Chanel, <laughs> Franklin, Baker, Mina, Freddie, Caroline, Shamar, again, Michael, Sarah, Tony, Nikki, Jazz, Danica, Cannon, Danae, Heather, Terry, and Diane. Okay, and I did pick up on a few locations. We got Texas, anywhere in Tex Texas, but I got Dallas and San Antonio specifically. We got Louisville, Nashville, and Indianapolis. All right, hope it resonates. Love y'all. Bye. Go and take a little trip. It's such a future with me. Go and take a little dip. Go and take a little dive. Get that energy right. We gon' get it together. The cars, the cars, the key clarity. The cars, the cars, the key what you need. Subscribe to my channel.